Good evening dear students welcome to Bajirao IAS Academy interview guidance program 2023 so in today's lecture we are going to discuss about india france relations now why we have to discuss about india france relations now france is one of the most reliable and most significant partner for india in the western world france has supported us in several fields whether it is space defense security and even the multilateral uh, institutions reform at the global level so therefore in this context it is very important that we have to understand india france relations in an in depth manner so apart from that another very significant aspect that had took place recently is french president emmanuel macron was chief guest at india's republic day ceremony that were that held on january 26th 2024 so therefore overall for german president emmanuel macron it is third visit so the first visit of him was in the year 2018 and the second visit of him was g20 summit that took place in india 2023 that was hosted by india so overall for emmanuel macron this is third visit Uh, of india so because of this reason uh, because of emmanuel macron was the chief guest uh, uh, at a uh, india's republic day ceremony this topic india france relations have to be discussed in an in depth manner now before going to discuss india france ties we have to understand the history of india france bilateral relationships so this is very important so firstly we have to talk about the diplomatic relations between india and france so both countries in the year 1947 itself they have established diplomatic relations so if you remember india has got independence in 1947 itself so both countries have established diplomatic relations in the year 1947 itself and these diplomatic relations further upgraded to the strategic partnership in the year 1998 so this is much earlier than the most of the other important centers of the power that india had established the strategic partnership now please understand this both countries have diplomatic relations since 1947 and these diplomatic relations further upgraded to strategic partnership in the year 1998 now when we talk about the strategic partnership between france and india so that happened in the 1988 so 1998 so mostly defense security civil nuclear cooperation along with space they are the principal pillars of india france cooperation okay so what are those four pillars defense and security civil nuclear cooperation space constitute the principal pillars of this strategic cooperation now if you look at india france partnership indo pacific actually looks as a strong pillar or strong component of the both countries relations now if you look at the defense and security partnership between india and russia if we discuss this in an in depth manner we can talk about the rafale fighter jets france had supplied rafale fighter jets to india so apart from rafale fighter jets we need to talk about the scorpion class submarines that france would supply to india now apart from that we should also talk about the comprehensive convention on international terrorism where it has been getting a continuous support from france so therefore in the arena of defense and security both these countries have been enjoying strong and robust partnership and civil nuclear cooperation also a very important pillar of the bilateral relations between france and india why because india had conducted the nuclear tests so because of this reason several countries have imposed embargo on india so after that countries like france have come forward and civil nuclear cooperation for india is very important because india Uh, will not be able to rely continuously on the thermal power plants for electricity generation so therefore we require civil nuclear technology we require civil nuclear partnerships so therefore france had come forward and it has established a civil nuclear cooperation with india and space also constitute a very important aspect in bilateral relations between india and 
France. Now, if you look at a few communication satellites that were launched by ISRO from French Guyana, okay, so from French Guyana, so the rocket name is Ariane. So this also symbolizes a strong space partnership between France and uh, India. So after that, we have to talk about you know the strategic partnership agreement that was signed between india and france so in fact if you look at this fact france is the first country or it is the first western country with which india actually signed a strategic partnership agreement okay so france is the first country with which india signed a strategic partnership agreement so both countries had a target or a do or a goal so it is known as horizon 2047 so horizon 2047 charting the future of india france strategic partnership as i have already told you india and france have been enjoying the strategic partnership in the spirit of horizon 2047 so this means charting the future of india france strategic partnership so this horizon 2047 was signed in the year 2023 so this was particularly to mark the 25th anniversary of the indo-french partnership okay so 25th anniversary of the indo-french strategic partnership that was signed in the year 1998 so as part of the horizon 2047 both of these countries had agreed to adopt a roadmap to set the course for the bilateral relationships up to 2047 okay so they had decided to adopt a roadmap to set the course for the bilateral relationships up to 2047 so this will build on the long-term relationship so the india france relationship will be built on the long-term strategic partnership so in this cooperation there are three important pillars so they define the india france partnership now what are those three pillars that india and france have been focusing on they include security planet people guiding the bilateral rise for the next 25 years that is 2047 okay so uh, if you look at the international support for india's bid to get a seat at the united nations security council france is the first p5 country i hope all of you know about the p5 so what exactly is the p5 p5 are the five permanent members at the united nations security council and france is one among the p5 countries now if you look at the international support france was the first country to support india's claim for the permanent seat in an expanded or reformed un security council so because of this reason we can say that france is one of the reliable partner for india because it is the first p5 country that has been supporting india's candidature at the united nations security council now after that if you remember india had introduced a comprehensive convention on international terrorism okay so this convention was introduced by india at the united nations however still now this convention was not adopted at the united nations because there are different countries who have been objecting over the definition of terrorism and because of this reason the comprehensive convention on international terrorism is not yet adopted in united nations so however both india and france have been working together for the adoption of the comprehensive convention on international terrorism at the united nations because since india is a victim of terrorism and france also takes a strong stand against terrorism radicalization and fundamentalism both countries have been working together to prevent or uh, counter terrorism okay so these are the main areas of cooperation between india and france now if you look at the bilateral trade and the economic engagement between india and france so france has actually emerged as the 11th largest investor in india so this actually means that so if you look at all the countries which have been investing france has emerged as the 11th most important or 11th most largest investor in india now after that we need to talk about the economic relations the bilateral trade between these two countries so the bilateral trade had actually reached an impressive uh, uh, amount of 13.4 billion us dollars okay so 13.4 billion us dollars so this was up to 2020 2022 23 so therefore 
देर इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट जम्प और सिग्निफिकेंट इंक्रीज इन दी बायोलेट्रल ट्रेड बिटवीन इंडिया एंड फ्रांस कंपेयर टू द प्रीवियस ईयर ओके सो इट हैड इंक्रीज सेवन पॉइंट सेवन टू परसेंटेज वैन वी कंपेयर इट विद द प्रीवियस ईयर सो वैन वी लुक एट द की यू नो प्रोडक्ट्स Uh, or main imports from France and what India exports to France. Now, if you look at imports, we import aviation products, machine equipment, electric equipment, chemical products. So these are the major imports of India from France. So, however, there's a long list of exports from India to France. So what are those exports? So they include engineering goods. They include electric machinery, boilers, petroleum products. pharmaceutical products electronic equipment and ready made garment now if you understand india is the largest supplier producer and supplier of generic drugs okay so generic drugs so india also has a strong export base for the pharmaceuticals and india also has the strong processing uh, facility for the petroleum and other crude oil related products so therefore uh india is at the top when we talk about the engineering goods electric machinery petroleum products and pharmaceutical products so after that the another major uh, area of cooperation between india and france is defense cooperation or defense collaboration now the major ongoing defense related projects between india and france so they include they primarily include the purchase of rafale jets so we all all know about the rafale jets and the controversy which has been surrounding the rafale aircrafts so apart from rafale jets p75 scorpion project also involve the development of scorpion class submarines uh, by the joint cooperation between india and france so these are the major areas of defense cooperation between india and france after that there are also other major areas of cooperation so that includes the blue economy as well now in recent times blue economy has been gaining a lot of importance or lot of prominence so a road map on blue economy and ocean governance was actually adopted by france and india in the year 2022 so both of these countries will cooperate when it comes to the blue economy and its sustainable development so after that the green hydrogen also uh you know gaining a lot of prominence when it when we talk about india france relationship so india french road map for decarbonizing hydrogen or decarbonized hydrogen was adopted in the year 2022 now climate change environmental conservation protection are also important pillars of india france relations so with respect to make uh, with respect to ensure that both these countries meet their respective targets and also uh, make sure that uh, uh, they will achieve the net zero targets their respective net zero targets uh, all these countries have been focusing on renewable energies green hydrogen etc so uh, when we talk about the cooperation in the field of renewable energy international solar alliance was jointly launched by india and france in the year 2015 so this is primarily aim to tackle climate change and global warming okay so this uh, aims to enhance the production of uh, uh, renewable energy such as solar energy through the joint cooperation collaboration technology transfer providing adequate finances to different countries in the tropical region so therefore the international solar alliance or the renewable energy cooperation between india and france is also another defining area so after that we need to talk about the cyber cooperation as well so they hold the cyber dialogue okay cyber dialogue mechanism jointly so uh, in this cyber dialogue mechanism they will discuss cyber cooperation and related matters with respect to cyber security and both of these countries have been cooperating on counter terrorism as well because uh, india and france are considered themselves as the victims of terrorism so therefore in this context intelligence sharing and uh, you know there are different aspects when it comes to the counter terrorism and india and france have been robust uh, cooperation have robust cooperation on topics related to countering terrorism in all its forms and manifestations that includes under un forums now if you look at united nations working there were attempts by countries like china which is also a part of p5 
blocking India's or any other country's attempt to uh, designate a particular individual as a UN designated uh, terrorist. So they belong to Jamaat ud Dawa, Al Qaeda, Lashkar e Taiba. So now. China has been indirectly protecting or shielding these terrorists and terrorist organizations and they have emerged as a threat to these countries. So therefore, both India and France have been cooperating in this field as well. So after that, we have to discuss a way forward. So what should be the way forward? What lies ahead? Now, there are certain challenges in India France relationship as well. Now, if you look at the bilateral trade, so it is below the potential of what the bilateral trade should be between these two countries, and the investment potential is also very. Uh, is also at very low levels. So uh, apart from trade and investment, the defense cooperation has been uh, uh, in an area of concern between India and France. So there are a number of areas where they can explore the potential uh, opportunities and explore uh, leverage those opportunities to further upgrade the relations between these two countries. And apart from that, the people to people ties between India and France is also another major issue, uh, you know, when it comes to granting visas and all and even at the indo-pacific cooperation france is not that much active similar to like us or any other country so therefore uh, uh, indo-pacific is very important for india and even france as well so therefore they should further step up their engagement in the indo-pacific region okay a robust and strengthened partnership is the need of the har in the indo-pacific region so therefore uh, despite these challenges what lies ahead what should be the way forward in the india france relations so they have established strategic partnership in 1998 so this was already discussed earlier so when they have signed this joint declaration so uh, to enhance the bilateral ties in various other fields for example nuclear technology space counterterrorism okay so now these are considered as the most important pillars are the defining features of india france relations so after that we have to talk about you know different other aspects like un reforms un reforms united nations security council reforms so it should be more a representative body it should be uh, it should function in a democratic manner it should be more relevant to the current global realities contemporary realities so otherwise it would lose its relevance at the global governance level like uh, you know league of nations so after that uh, climate change also another important area where France and India can work together in the spirit of protecting environment and preventing climate change. So they can uh, work for the uh, you know improvement of further strengthening international solar alliance. So Indo-Pacific is also another major important area between India and France. So after that, the India-France strategic partnership actually reflect the maturity and resilience of the two countries. Okay, so it reflects the resilience and the maturity of these two countries when they engage with each other. So these ties have been nurtured, the, uh, you know, so which have nurtured ties over the last quarter century and have adapted to changing global and regional scenarios okay so the partnership is now moving from the government domains to commercial and civil spaces and now it is expected to grow further in the future so the india france relations in the future are more optimistic in nature okay so since the relevance for indo-pacific has been significantly increasing going ahead india and france will enjoy a robust partnership because they have the converging interests and they work for the principles uh, or like rule of law and global peace and uh, you know better functioning of the institutions such as uh, they they should be more representative they should be more democratic they jointly work for the human rights etc okay counter terrorism so in all those things okay so that's all about india france relations in a brief way okay so that you can answer uh, any question on this in your interview and even uh, any question on your main examination okay so if you have any doubts on this topic please comment those doubts in the comment section and also like the video and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you